Hi everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I'm gonna address all of your questions when it comes to registering your drone with the FAA. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I get it, I know it's so frustrating. Things change so frequently when it comes to drone rules and there's a lot of confusion out there and there's probably gonna be a lot of confusion as we go. But what I wanted to do with this video, what I wanted to accomplish is to inform all of you that maybe have had a drone for not too long or maybe just got a drone on the process of registering it with the FAA. The primary purpose of my channel is to inform people about their drones, help them learn how to have more fun with them, learn about related technology, but I also wanna help you guys understand the ever-changing rules when it comes to flying UAVs. So instead of combing through the internet Internet every couple of days to see what you can or can't do, be sure to subscribe and I'll keep you up to date. So the other day I posted a short video informing you guys all about the newly advanced mandate by the FAA that your drone registration number must now be displayed on the exterior of your drone before it could be underneath the battery compartment, but now it has to be on the outside of your drone. And in that video in the comments, and thanks to all of you who commented, it was awesome. It was probably my most commented video in the fastest amount of time ever. But in the comments, there were many people that had questions about the registration process, who should register, what needs to be registered, and so on. So I figured today I would help all of you who have questions about drone registration and get as much information out there as I can. So I'm going to answer every question that has been asked of me over the past two years. And then I'm also going to include a couple of other ones that you guys probably should know about. And if you find that I missed something, just let me know in the comments and I'll actually pin it in the top of the comments so we keep everybody informed. So the first question, what is considered a UAV? Well, it's anything that can be flown remotely without a person on board. So this includes quadcopters and RC planes. If it flies and you aren't on it or hanging from it, it's a UAV. Now, which UAVs need to be registered with the FAA? Any UAVs that weigh more than 0.55 pounds are required to be registered by the FAA, even if it's a toy drone with no camera. If you bought it from DJI or if you bought it at Walgreens, if it's over 0.55 pounds, it needs to be registered. Anything under that, under 0.55 pounds, does not have to be registered. And to fly anything that weighs more than 55 pounds, you will need a section 333 waiver from the FAA. Now I'm not gonna discuss that today, but feel free to Google it. I doubt that many of you watching this are gonna fly something that big. Now if someone gives you a drone as a gift that weighs more than 0.55 pounds, you must register that one as well. So how do you register? You hop on the internet and you go to faadronezone.faa.gov. That is the only place to register your drone. There are several third-party websites out there that will charge you extra money and they'll make it like, oh, you need to register with us or you're gonna go to prison. It's not true, you guys. Do not use them. They are basically legally stealing your money. Only go to that website, faadronezone.faa.gov. How much does it cost to register your drone? As a hobbyist, a recreational pilot, it costs you $5 no matter how many drones that you have. As a commercial drone pilot, a part 107, it costs $5 for each of your drones. One more thing, if you are a part 107 commercial drone pilot, you have to get a different registration number for each of your drones if you own multiple drones. On the other hand, if you are a recreational pilot, you can use that same number for each of your drones. So what happens after you register? First of all, you'll be given a certificate number as well as a small UAS certificate of registration that will be emailed to you. And if you ever lose that for some reason, you can always log in to your account on the FAA website to print additional cards. These cards must be with you if you are flying. Now, does that mean you have to have the paper one with you at all times? No. You can pull it up on your phone and show the FAA agent or whoever asks for your registration right there on your mobile device. Are you required to mark your drone? Yes, the requirement to register your drone has been in place for a very long time, but now as of February 25th, 2019, you will need to have that registration number displayed on the exterior of your drone. Go ahead and watch this video right here if you need all the information for that. There are no specific guidelines as to how big it needs to be, only that it needs to be, quote, seen upon visual inspection of the aircraft's exterior, unquote. Now, at the making of this video, this new rule is interim until 30 days have passed. So if you're watching this after March of 2019, 
be sure to research if more specific requirements have been adopted. And if they have, I'll pin them at the top of the comments below. Now, what if you only fly your drone inside? What if you don't go outside, you just stay in your house or you stay inside a building? Well, then you are not required to register your drone. But the day you take that drone outside and launch it off the ground, then it needs to be registered. What is the penalty if the FAA finds that I am not registered? Now, yes, I will agree with anyone that says, what are the chances of that happening? Probably not very likely. But if something goes wrong and you wreck something or you hurt someone and that drone is not registered, you better get out your checkbook. The FAA may assess a civil penalty up to $27,500 and criminal penalties up to $250,000 and or three years in prison. People, spend the $5, please. Now, how old do you have to be to register a drone? Well, you have to be 13 years of age or older. And if you fly a drone and you're younger than that, then a parent or a guardian must register that drone. Now, a question that I get all of the time, which is a little bit strange to me, but I get asked, what about balloons and paper airplanes? Well, no, these do not need to be registered. These do not meet the definition of unmanned aircraft system. There's no communication between them. There's no um, wireless control or anything like that. So you don't have to register your paper airplane. Now, what if you sell your drone? Well, then you'll need to log into your account on the FAA website and update that information. All you have to do is just delete that registration number from your account and you're good to go. Now, here's another one that I get on probably a weekly basis. What if you're a citizen of another country and you wanna fly your drone in the United States. Well, I will tell you that it is a bit of a hassle. Now, if you wanna operate your UAS exclusively as model aircraft, you must complete the steps in the web-based registration process. And you have to obtain what's called a recognition of ownership. This recognition of ownership, it's required by the Department of Transportation to operate uh, model aircraft in the United States. Now, if you wanna operate your UAS as a non-model aircraft, you must register your UAS in the country in which you're eligible to register and then obtain operating authority from the Department of Transportation when you get here. That website can only be accessed from a computer that is located in the United States. So that recognition of ownership needs to be obtained as soon as you arrive in the United States. So that's pretty much everything you guys have asked me over the past two years, and in particular the last two weeks, plus a couple of extra bonus ones. The bottom line, you guys, register your drone. It's very inexpensive, it's the law, and it's the responsible thing to do. But if you have 300 grand to spare in the event that you get caught, then by all means, skip it. So I hope I did give you something of value today. If I did, please click on that thumbs up. Also share this video with other drone enthusiasts that you might know because there is a lot of uncertainty out there, especially as the rules are changing on a regular basis. And like I said, I'm gonna keep you guys up to date. You know, if there's breaking news or something like that, I certainly will make a video. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that. I wanna thank you guys sincerely for watching today. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.